assalamu alaikum this is shiraz ahmed in this tutorial i am going to show you how to join google classroom so first of all you need to sign into your google account with gmail id type your existing gmail id over here and press next to apply your password okay if you don't have any gmail id you must create a new account as you sign into your Google account you can see there is a Google app button next to your profile picture click on this button and from the drop down list select classroom the first page of Google classroom appears for new users is always blank because no existing class is there but you have to join a new class click on this plus sign and select join class all the students will be sent their relevant class code via SMS or WhatsApp so you have to copy that code from your message and paste in this box then click on join so the code I have applied was of grade 3 this is the first page of student account having three tabs on the top right now we are in stream and this is the main dashboard of any class you can see notifications and intimations under this tab so let's have a look what kind of material we can have first of all go to the oldest post this is a notification about uh, Google Classroom that regular online classes will commence from 1st June class timetable is attached here so there is an attachment click this attachment this is the timetable it can be printed out with this button or you can save this image uh, right click on the image and save image as then you have to select the directory and save that image go back with this arrow sign let's see what are the next posts let's see the next posts this symbol indicates that you have been asked an online question and these two are some kind of worksheets Students can go and view their assignment directly from the stream tab by clicking on the assignment. Or click any assignment from the news box. But going with the classwork tab, you can see subject wise homework along with other information so I would like to go with classwork tab out of four or five subjects you have got the homework of only two subjects you can see assignments are available only under English and math other subjects are not there 
and you can see each assignment has a due date that is you have to submit their answers within this time period now click on each assignment and view your homework further click on view assignment this is the title and topic of the assignment a document file is also attached there you have to download it but before that you must know more information that is due date of submission and the total marks of worksheet further on this page you can see typing spaces are given on two different places this one and this one class comment is to put up your query and have discussion with your uh, class members and teachers which will be shown to everyone in your group number two private comments here you can have conversation with your teacher privately and no one can see your conversation now let's see the attachment click on the attachment it will appear in new tab teacher has already given the answer space you have to download it go to file menu and download the file as Microsoft Word now close this tab because you needn't make any amendment online now go to the download directory and open that file fill in the blanks and type your answer then save the file and close it for sake of change I'm going to answer first question it is saved and now closed and this is the edited file let's go back to the Google classroom and submit this file you can see there is a button add or create click this button go to file select file from your device this was the file click then open and finally 
अपलोड लुक फाइल हैज बिन अपलोडेड यू नीड टू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन टर्न इन क्लिक अगेन Now your assignment has been submitted and turn in button has been changed into unsubmit. It mean you can make further amendments in your submitted file but within due date. Now let's see what kind of second assignment we have. go to menu button then grade 3 we are working with class work tab this was our first assignment which has been turned in Yeah, second one. Define noun and exa uh, with examples. View question. Similarly, this question is graded as well and has due date. I have already told you about spaces one and two, but third one is to answer your question. so we will type our answer over here and click turn in so this is our answer once submitted cannot be edited and remember one thing answer space has no character limit so try to give your answer according to the points let's move on to the third assignment tell the time click this assignment has written instructions along with two attachments so we will view the assignment are you ready to learn to tell time okay Let's go. What time is it? Now we'll go back to a time Google quiz form. Click on the form. It will appear in new tab. This is an online worksheet. having three questions each question carries marks you can see in this corner let's solve this form what time is it write down the digital time 
what is the time in digital clock 10 10 after that submit students can view the score right after the submission click on view score here you can see the open marks Your response has been recorded, but your assignment has not yet been turned in until you follow the next step. So just close this tab and see, assign is still mentioned there. So you have to click on this button, mark as done. Again mark as done. and you will see turn in appears now let's check out the status of all the assignments we have done look news box is empty Now move on to classwork tab. Writing sentences skill turned in. Number two, define noun with examples turned in. Number three, math turned in. And that's it. All your done assignments or pending assignments will always remain in stream and classwork. After checking, teacher will award you the marks and you will see your marks by clicking on view assignment. Click on the assignment. It's been created. View assignment. Two point five marks have been given to this assignment and teacher has posted a comment as well which is incomplete. Yes I know I have answered only one question. Then you will have to delete this file, complete your pending work, then upload the final work and finally resubmit it. The law school will keep on posting more tutorials and guidelines for the parents and students. You can also take help from YouTube. Hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.